Hello everyone. In this video, I, Gaurav Kumar Singh, and my friend Rishabh Gupta are going to look at an important application of meta materials, the super lens. Let us begin by having a brief introduction of meta materials. Meta materials are the materials engineered to have a property that is not found in nature. They are assemblies of multiple elements such as metals or plastics. Materials are arranged in a repeating pattern and it is this arrangement that gives the meta materials their properties. These properties are independent of the properties of base materials. If arranged appropriately, meta materials can affect waves of electromagnetic radiation or sound. For example, in the picture shown, copper splittering resonators and wires are mounted so as to obtain a negative index meta material. This material is used for making super lens. Next, let us look what a super lens is and what are its applications. As we know, super lens are made of meta material which have negative index. It is this property of meta material which enables the super lens to overcome diffraction limit. Hence, they are used in optical microscopy to obtain high definition image of small substances such as a virus. Normal lenses have optical resolution limited to wavelength of radiation. Super lens have overcome this limit because of their negative refractive index. Now, let us try to understand why the diffraction limit exists. The field emanating from the object can be written as a superposition of plane waves by the first equation of figure. Second equation tells the relation between kx, ky and kz. For an ordinary lens, only positive square root is taken as the energy going in positive z direction. Only those components are taken where kz is real. When kz becomes imaginary, wave is an evanescent wave, which decays in normal lens with positive refractive index and hence optical resolution is of the order of wavelength of radiation as high frequency information contained in evanescent wave is lost due to its decay. Principle of super lens Negative refraction at the interface of a negative and a positive index medium allows a flat slayer of an IM to focus all the diverging light rays from an object into two images, one inside the slab and one outside. The light emitted or scattered from an object includes not only propagating waves but also evanescent waves which carry the sub-wavelength details of the object. The evanescent waves decay exponentially in any medium with a positive refractive index so that they cannot be collected at the image plane by a conventional lens and this results in a diffraction limited image but if a lens made of an IM is placed close to an object the near field evanescent waves can be strongly enhanced across the lens after emerging from an IM lens the evanescent waves decay again until their amplitudes reach their original level at the image plane. On the other hand, the propagating waves pass through the NIM lenses with both negative refraction and a reversed phase front, leading to zero phase change at the image plane. By completely recovering both propagating and evanescent waves in phase and amplitude, a perfect image is created. Near and far field lens. The evanescent fields can be enhanced and thus contribute to a sub diffraction limited image if we place a super lens with refractive index close to the object. If the super lens only possesses either single negative permeability or single negative permittivity, the lens effect remains valid only for transverse magnetic and transverse electric mode of light respectively. By adding a coupling element to the super lens, the enhanced evanescent waves can be coupled into propagating waves, making far field detection possible. High resolution images can be reconstructed by collecting the far field signals from such a lens. If we have complete knowledge of the coupling process, which is assured by the design of FSL transfer function.
the hyper lens uses a piece of artificial meta material to transfer the deep sub wavelength information into the far field the evanescent waves from the object can become propagating waves in such a strongly anisotropic meta material with the help of hyperlens geometry the waves gradually reduce their wave vector values along the propagation direction in the meta material and thus the waves can contribute to propagate even after leaving the hyperlens hope you enjoyed watching our video thank you